Good day, Summoners. This is Rave Master bringing you a guide to begin owning with Trundle in five minutes. Let's begin. Trundle is, well, literally a troll who has a skill set which places an emphasis on dueling and sticking to enemies. Trundle is most commonly jungled but can also be played in the solo lane. Trundle is picked for his great counter jungling and resistance to being counter jungled, ability to enable ganks, and tank melting ultimate. Skilling Trundle is dependent on who you are going to be playing against and how you are playing him. Maxing out Rabid Bite first is best because it is your most reliable source of damage, but then you have a choice. Most junglers max Pillar of Filth next because the extra slow and cooldown reduction is great for ganks and teamfights, whereas top lane Trundle can max Contaminate second for the dueling power. Jungle Trundle can max Contaminate second if you are against a strong jungle duelist and desperately need the extra stats. Whatever your decision, get your ultimate at the standard 6, 11, and 16. Trundle already has the ability to give himself a lot of free stats, so it is best to build items that either complement these stats or make up for what he lacks. Starting items are going to be Machete for Jungle Trundle, and either Boots, Crystalline Flask, or Cloth Armor for Laning Trundle, all with their respective amount of health potions. For Jungle Trundle, rush Boots of Ganking, and then turn your Machete into a Madreds, or go all the way to Wriggles for good buff clearing. Laning Trundle should pick up an early Vamp Scepter for sustain. From there, Phage is a great early game item with your normal defensive pickups, which depend on the matchup. The troll can deal a surprising amount of damage by just picking up a couple offensive items. You have the usual choices, Bloodthirster and the nice armor pen from Last Whisper. Blade of the Rune King has amazing synergy with Trundle's Q damage buff, and the active makes ganking and diving carries in teamfights much more effective. A must for the troll on a roll. Atma's Impaler and Mav Malmorius both give good damage along with nice resistances. If you need more sticking power, then pick up Frozen Mallet or Iceborne Gauntlet. The choice will depend on what stats you need most and how rich you are. Defensive items cement Trundle's role as an off tank for his team and allow him to dive deep during teamfights. Warmogs and Sunfire Cape give large amounts of health to go along with your stolen resistances. Frozen Heart and Randomman's Omen are great against hard right clickers along with give you other nice stats, whereas against AP threats a Spirit Visage synergizes well with Trundle's passive. Both Locket of the Iron Solari and Runic Bulkwork are cost effective defensive items to help your team that work great for Jungle Trundle. Tips and Advice Trundle is somewhat a meta dependent champion. He thrives against teams with one tank who builds a lot of resistances so that he can steal those and deprive the other team of a tank. Against other team comps, he is slightly less effective in teamfights, but still a strong pick. Going into Trundle's jungle is often a mistake unless you know for sure he won't be there. He can steal your AD, health, and resistances, buff his own attack speed, and keep you pinned down with his pillar. There are very few junglers who can win that fight. Trundle wants a t team fight in the jungle, where his pillar can be used to maximum effect by separating the enemy and drastically reducing their movement speed. Trundle's pillar is not a great initiation tool, however it is amazing at disengaging from a fight and can stop the team's initiation in its tracks and save allies. Pillar of Filth and Agony make Trundle a great anti-initiator because he can separate the initiator from their team and steal their defenses, allowing Trundle's team to kill the enemy champion before the rest of their team can follow up. When ganking a side lane, wait until the enemy tries to juke into the side bushes to put your pillar in front of them. This will give you vision and force them to walk around the pillar closer to you and your allies. In case I haven't made this clear enough yet, placement of Pillar of Filth separates the good and the bad Trundle players and is the key to his success. Use it to screw with the enemy's positioning to get the best returns. It is not the best idea to use Contaminate while farming the jungle, because you want to have it up in case you need to fight someone. Also, remember that the enemy can see the AoE of the spell, so it is not recommended to use while counter jungling. Save your escapes for until Trundle puts up his wall, because it is his only CC and you don't want to burn your escapes only to get stuck behind a wall. Trundle's passive gives him great sustain in both the jungle and in lane, and when paired with a little bit of lifesteal, means he will always be at high health. Rabid Bite is an auto attack reset, so use it directly after an auto attack to increase your jungle clear speed and single target DPS. In team fights, Agony goes on the champion with the most resistances on the enemy team to get the most out of it. It will make you more tanky while making their tank squishy in return. Now that you are armed with the knowledge of this guide, you will love beating your opponents to a pulp. Thank you for watching. Don't be a troll and ignore that like button. Give it a push and don't forget to subscribe for the best League of Legends video guides on YouTube. In fact, check out my last video guide in Cassiopeia, right here on Mobifier TV. Now, before you go, Giant turd in your face!
I will see you guys next time. Mobifier TV is sponsored by Origin and Razer.